Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel, or if you're new, hello. My name is Hannah, and today I am sharing what I am gifting my two kids for Christmas this year. I was so excited when I dropped Sadie off to school, came back home, and I pulled out everything that I had, and I'm very excited to share. Um, I will say I did not go all out for Christmas. We typically, as a family, try to do more hands-on like experiences, um, vacations, fun things that are out and about. I just feel like that's more memorable and more um, like valuable, and I feel like you can't put a price on that. And it's something that I know that they will remember than a toy under the tree. So that's what my family kind of focuses on. We have a vacation coming up um, you know, to the beach next year. We try to do at least one. If we're lucky and things plan out, we will do two. Um, we also have, of course, some trips that we want to plan. Um, haven't planned officially yet, but we want to. So, um, our, that is what we kind of do. Um, of course, we want some things for them here to unwrap, but that's what we kind of do. We try to do more throughout the year as far as experiences go. Um, also, you know, we do have um, family that gifts to the kids and that all ends up here at home. So I just don't feel the need, you know, to go out, spend money on little knickknacks and toys when there's other things that are more valuable. Um, so that's that. But then also, if you are new or have just never really said, Sadie is nine. She will be 10 next May or this May. Um, and I just cannot believe she's going to be hitting double digits. It makes me so sad. I know I'm going to cry. Oh, it's, it's very saddening for me. Um, and then I have Elliot. Um, he will be 18 months come Christmas. You might be able to hear him. He is asleep finally. Um, he has not been feeling well. We're all kind of starting to get that. It's getting very cold outside and it just kind of hit like that. So it's all kind of hitting our, our throats and Elliot is kind of stuffy. So you might hear him snoring or coughing. I have him in my eyesight. He is directly across from me. So he is okay if you hear him. Um, if he gets too bad or he wakes up, um, you'll probably see a little cutout of me um, since I have to go get him. But yeah, so for starters, I'll go ahead and start with Elliot. And the first thing I'm going to share is this bath toy set that I got him. I purchased this from Shop Disney when they had their um, friends and family sale. This is huge. I was expecting something teeny tiny. But no, this is absolutely huge. Elliot loves cars, so I thought the Pixar Cars was perfect for him. It was between that and Toy Story, but I know he loves cars, so I got that. And this bucket is really nice as well. It's got like a strainer on top and a spout so you can pour out the excess water. I'm thinking this would be a nice bucket for the beach next year. This is huge. I'm so happy about that purchase. Um, the next thing is more cars. Um, I love these. I thought they were bright. They were fun. Um, these are from Target. This is the B Toys brand and there are six cars in here. And I just, I love the fact that they came in a case so we could easily pack up some of these cars, take them with us on the go if we go somewhere or just keep them, you know, put up and clean. Um, but from that same brand, I picked up a puzzle. This is the alphabet. Um, they do have a number one too, which I might pick up. Um, these were really inexpensive. I think like $9. Um, but I thought they were really nice. Again, I love the bright colors. Um, this is for 18 months and up. So I'm thinking, you know, a little after Christmas, once everything has died down some, that hopefully he'll sit down and play with this. Um, so that is that. And then I got him this cute Melissa and Doug shape sorter. Um, it's a cute little dump truck, but, um, he does have a shape sorter, but it's not very specific. If I can find a picture, I'll show you. 
Um, my mom purchased it off of Amazon. It's more of like an open um, case for shapes. Elliot loves it though, so I mean, no complaints. But this one I thought would um, challenge him a little bit more um, since, you know, you got to put these ones in their specific shape um, hole. <laughs> um, so I got him that. And then I'm not going to go too into detail with these because I did show these. But these are just the Fisher Price. Yeah, Fisher Price Little People vehicles. So I got him the helicopter. I got him the little police car, the recycling truck, and then the fire truck as well. And I think that he'll really like these. Um, he has the giant plane and he loves it and he loves those little people that's in there. So I thought that he would like those. And then the last couple things is from Amazon. These are all Blue's Clues themed. Blue's Clues is his favorite thing. Um, that was actually his first birthday. Um, and he just he loves blue, um, which I don't blame him. Blue's Clues, I love. Um, I actually had a birthday in Blue's, Blue's Clues as well. That was so cute. Um, but. I got him this and yes I know this is for a little older but um this is the Crayola like mess free coloring um I wanted to try and get him to start holding um like a marker or a crayon trying and like copying me if I'm trying to draw or doodle something um and he would always try to bite the crayon and I didn't want him to eat wax um, that, and, you know, if you use anything else, those can obviously end up on your furniture or, you know, anything else with these. Luckily, um, they only work on the paper. So I was very happy about that and I thought I'd give it a go. I was fi figuring, thinking, I can't talk today. I was thinking that with these being markers, they'd be a little bit easier for him to grab being bigger than a crayon. Um, but we'll see. This is something that either me or definitely Sadie would do with him or Sadie would just do it herself. <laughs> um, the other thing in here is a pack of little figures. Um, he got a bus for his birthday from um, It's Blue's Clues, um, but you have tons of seats in the bus where you can put other characters. So I thought this was cute. This was literally like $6. I thought that was so cheap. Um, but this is a little pirate set, but you get, um, magenta, Josh, blue, and slippery soap. So I thought that these would be cute that he can put in his bus. He loves putting things in his bus. And then the last thing is this Leapfrog Blue's Clues book. And I'm so excited about this book. He's got one or two of these that are like the hundred words and like pictures, my first words, stuff like that. And he loves these. He'll bring this up to me all the time. He'll want to flip through each and every page. Like he does it so carefully and he just, he loves it. So I'm very excited about gifting him this. I think that he's going to absolutely love it. So that is that. And honestly, I think I'm going to do a different video for stockings just because I don't really know what to put in their stockings just yet. I have a couple things for Sadie, but I also like to wait until like Christmas stuff comes out. That way, all those little knickknacks that everybody loves in their stockings are out. So we will see. I do, like I said, have a couple things for Sadie already. My throat is so dry, guys. Sorry. Oh, gotta love coffee. But, um, yeah, I'll probably do their stockings here soon. Um, and now moving on to Sadie. Sadie asked for like four things, four or five things, and that's it. The rest of these I picked up just thinking that she'd like. She likes dolls. Um, she will, she loves her American Girl dolls or anything that's kind of similar. So like Target is our generation. Um, Walmart is my life. So stuff like that. She loves, 
She also loves books and crafts. She loves reading, doing hands-on things. She loves painting and coloring and drawing, sketching, like all of that stuff. She absolutely loves. Um, and it's, I mean, it's really great. She loves it so, so much. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, the first thing I will say, um, she did want a pair of shoes. I feel like she wants a pair of shoes every year. She's getting to that point too, where she's kind of like mm, shoes, clothes, jewelry, which I'm all for. I don't mind. Um, so I did order her. She wanted a pair of glitter Crocs and I'll post a picture. They haven't came yet, but she wanted a pair of the black glitter Crocs. So I have those coming. I think that's all that I have that hasn't came yet for Sadie. I don't know. I could be mistaken. And I didn't know I already purchased her a pair of shoes. I start shopping super early when things are on sale or I find just something that they'll like. So I guess that's where I'll start first. I bought her a pair of shoes, not realizing that I bought these. And so that's why I bought the Crocs. She has no idea about these, but I bought her a pair of Hirachis. They're pink, black, gray, white. She has no idea about these. They're so cute. I bought them because they were on really good sale. I don't remember where, I don't remember when, but they were on really good sale. And I had no idea that I bought these until I pulled all this stuff out. So she's going to get two pairs of shoes this year. But yeah, she loves these. She's a big shoe kid because my brother is a big shoe um, collector guy. And she hangs out with him a lot. And so thanks, bro. You, yeah, you got Sadie into an expensive habit. Okay, so that that will be a surprise for her. She will hands down love those. Um, but like I said, I totally forgot that I bought her those, but they were on really good sale. So I couldn't like not buy them. Um, okay. I guess moving on, I did show these, um, all of her socks in previous videos. I was going to put them in her stocking, but then I'm like, I'm not going to do that to her. Like these would literally take up her whole stocking. So I think I'm just going to wrap all these up together in one package and have her open it that way. Um, but yeah, these are just all socks. <laughs> um, all right, I guess she got one last clothing piece and I'll insert a picture of this. I'm going to just keep it in the package so it stays nice. But this is from one of her favorite YouTubers, uh, Preston, but it is the ice cream hoodie and she's going to love this. She has no idea that she's getting this. Um, this is going to be her first like YouTube merch and she is going to be so excited. So I got that for her and then I got her this chair and I, I was trying to figure out how to set it up and I have no idea how, but it's from Walmart. This is the My Life brand. So like the My Twin, My Life, but it's just a cute little donut chair for her dolls. And again, I have no idea how to open this, <laughs> so I'm not even going to try. Um, she did ask for a Barbie, so I did pick her this, pick her up this Barbie. Um, I bought this off of Amazon. This was actually half the price of the one at Target. Same doll, just like half the price. So I picked this one up, but this is a Barbie extra doll. I don't know. And then also from Target, speaking of Target, I guess I should say, I picked up the, I love this brand. I definitely recommend this brand. The Disney I Love You um, dolls is also like a um, American Girl type of thing. Um, but this is a little craft set respired by, respired, oh my gosh, I cannot speak. Inspired by Rapunzel. Um, and it's just so cute. It's got all these little crafting knickknacks in there. And I just think it is so cute. And just because I have to match, um, I picked up the like art music set that is also Rapunzel inspired. So cute. And then of course the outfit. These are really inexpensive and I just think they are adorable since they are Disney based. 
or Disney inspired. I just think they're so cute. And then I did pick her up a couple of American Girl doll accessories back in the summer. So this is a sleeping bag, really, really cute tie dye. Um, yeah, so that's that. And then I got the matching little pajamas for her doll. And then of course I had to get these. These are the little like snacks. It says snack and snooze sleepover set. So it comes with like pizza, donuts, I think a game, all of that good stuff for a fun little, oh, it's got Uno. That's cute. Sadie will love that. Um, yeah, for her dolls. And then I picked this up from Amazon. This is Gym Art. Sadie will love this. She's again into anything crafty, hands on. So she's going to love this. I did pick her up a book. There was a couple books that she wanted and honestly, I forget which ones that she wanted versus the ones that she said that she has read. Um, but I know that this is more of like a comic book, but this is the newest Diary of the Wimpy Kid. She's read a lot of the other ones and she loves the, the, um, the movies. And she actually picked this up at Target and was like, oh wow, this is a new one. So I picked that one up for her. Ugh. I kept this one in the bag so this wouldn't get gross, but I picked her up a really gorgeous, um, like sketchbook, sketch pad. Um, I just thought this was so, so pretty. I picked this up at Burlington for $5.99 and I just think this is so pretty. And I picked this up because I'm going to pair it with her like most expensive gift. <laughs> um, not not really but this pack of markers this was the number one thing on her list I don't even know how to pronounce the brand Posca maybe I don't know I bought these off Amazon they were $19 um but I will say she didn't ask for much and this was the number one thing on her list she will use the crap out of these. She will use them until they are dead. So I didn't think it was a waste of money, honestly. I really don't. She is very big into this stuff. So it will get used, but I'm going to pair it with that sketchbook and she is going to flip when she sees those markers. She better flip when she sees those markers. Um, the last two things I have to show you guys our pins. I also ordered these when I did that sale. Sadie loves um, pin collecting with me and her favorite princess is Jasmine. I picked this pin up. This is the sketchbook pin, but it is actually Aladdin with the Cave of Wonder and he's got a boo on his shoulder. Um, I think that she's going to love this. Now I might put this in her stocking. I'm not quite sure. It'll kind of just depend on what all I end up finding or picking up. But I thought I would share that. And then the last one is this pin. And again, I just thought it was really pretty. It's a jasmine pin. And I just, again, think it's super, super pretty. And I think that she'll really love that. And it's a pin on pin element. Very, very pretty. There are a couple other things that I was looking at to get Sadie, um, and I still might pick them up. We'll see, um, but she wanted, well, not necessarily wanted. She showed me a toy locker. Um, again, I'll insert a picture. Um, it's like a Disney inspired locker. She loves playing like school and classrooms and everything with her dolls. So I might go ahead and pick that one up, but it's super cute. It's pink. Um, I think that she'll definitely love that. Um, and I might figure out what other book she wants and maybe pair it with um, that Diary of the Wimpy Kid book. Maybe do like one or two other books with it. But other than that, that is it. I'm not going again crazy for Christmas this year. <clears throat> I do need to figure out um, stocking stuffers, but that that is it, you guys. Oh, 
that is it. That is everything. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.